Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're doing another armor guide and this one is for the Western Mercenary Cavalry. Now this one came as a request on the channel I think several times I saw a comment for this where it was to make some sort of an armor guide utilizing the uh, heavy lamellar armor and the lamellar pauldrons but not to look very cumin-y. Now it sounded easier than it was actually to do so I'll break it down a little bit in that and really the difficulty was using the lamellar pauldrons because if I use the heavy lamellar armor and just pop down some plate pauldrons or something like that it looked really cool and utilized the lamellar armor but didn't look very cumin the problem with using the lamellar pauldrons is a it makes it look kind of cumin no matter what and b it just doesn't match really well with other things but I did the best I could and used both of those armor pieces and came together with what I was kind of picturing as like a Western European soldier, someone from, you know, the Holy Roman Empire down, maybe even towards Francia, uh, getting some of this cumin armor either through a trader or killing a cumin and taking it and using it because it was better than he had. Maybe he just had an old brigandine or that was falling apart, or maybe he just had a hauberk and didn't actually have anything on top of it. So he utilized that and made up the rest from here and there so i think it looks pretty good and that's the theme i was going for so let's get into it and look at what this suit is made of so as far as weapons go i figured an axe was probably the way to go with this one so i went with one so i went with one of the best uh, axes in the game and one of my personal favorite weapons and went with the metal plated axe uh battle axe the variant with just the long bill on one side uh instead of having the point and the other one you've, you've seen them both so this is the one i went with this one and i figured a wooden cumin shield I would match it pretty well because I like the light, small, round shield feel uh, for this suit of armor. So let's look at what clothing we have on this one. So for the base layer of clothing on this one, we went with the decorated black hose, the necklace, the nobleman's boots, the Saxon dyed gamson, of course the yellow version, the silver ring, silver spurs, and the yellow scarf. Because yellow kind of felt right with this uh, outfit, so we kind of went that way. So let's pop some mail on and see what it looks like then. All right, and so for the next layer, we put on a heavy hauberk, so uh, very good male protection, if not very fancy. Uh, male chausses, so excellent leg protection. The noble's male coif, which is one of the best coifs in the game, if not the best. And then we also popped on the dark padded coif underneath it. I only kept it off for the first layer, so you could see Henry's majestic eastern haircut. Uh, but so that is what it looks like with the chainmail on. Takes away a lot of the character, in my opinion, but, you know, I think it still looks pretty cool. So let's pop on the rest of the armor and see what this outfit looks like when it's full. So here you can see the outfit in its full glory. And I think it turned out pretty well because we're utilizing that armor as requested. But it doesn't look very cumin-esque. It looks very Western European, I think, at least. Like I said, the uh, pauldrons kind of kind of make it more difficult. Because if we just pop some, some regular plate pauldrons on here, like the Nuremberg pauldrons or whatever, then it looks really Western. But... I still think it turned out pretty well. So this is made up of the hound skull, the heavy lamellar armor, the riveted decorated chausses, and I went with the ones with the yellow tops because it kind of matches the yellow theme we're going for and the little red thing. Very colorful and mercenary-esque uh, while offering very, very good protection. Uh, the lamellar pauldrons and the composite gauntlets because I wanted to go with something, I wanted to go with plate on this and not leather or anything, but I wanted it to have some character to it. So you can see it's got the lines there and I believe this is what you'd call lobstered steel. So, that is the Western Mercenary Cavalry outfit, as requested by uh, someone on the channel. If it was you, tell me in the comments. I couldn't find the comments, otherwise I would have uh, included that. Uh, the total value of this is actually decently expensive at 13,787.5 groschen. So pretty pricey, but, you know, a mercenary spends a lot of money on their gear. It has a total weight of 92 kilograms, making it pretty dang heavy. And a lot of that comes from the fact that chainmail is obviously very heavy and the lamellar armor is pretty heavy. So all in all, it's not the lightest suit, but it offers very good protection for it. And it has an arm average armor rating of 88. So not what you'd call top tier, but definitely pretty dang good, especially considering how cool it looks. So let's go test this armor out on somebody. All right, we're going to siege, uh, or not siege, but storm Rete. So let's go. see how well we can do doing that. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Man, that is a good axe. Alright, one down. Let's see how many we can take out with this epic armor before we're taken down. But I'm reduced to this. Shit! Leave me be! Help! Here! Come on, buddy. Your sword is no match. 
Hey, look, it's Herman. What's up? Shit yourself. I need to get up on these stairs, get myself some defense. There we go. Now bring it. Whoa! Now he's spinning. Oh! Yeah. Bring it on. We'll give him the nub. I think he's got the same gauntlets as me. There we go. Ah! Herman! That's rude. I would never kill a buddy, but come on, you're getting in the way. Take that! Giving up already? Sorry, Herman, I wish it didn't come to that. Hey, look, this is one of the Scallops boys. Oh, dear God. oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Well, considering we're about to die, let's take one last look at this majestic outfit before it happens. Have you sunk has it sunk in? Do you like it? Make sure you let me know in the comments what you think of this outfit. Oh, we didn't make it so far. We took out a few people, though. To be fair, charging in recklessly like that, that's probably not the worst performance in the world. So if you like this video, do all the good stuff, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Uh, but in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.